Hey everybody, it's Cole um, on the Rookie Ace channel and we're here with another Wings of Glory Wednesdays. So today we're going to shake things up a bit and uh, instead of doing a plane breakdown or something, I'm going to show you um, basically my basic setup for painting any Wings of War or Glory miniature. Um, so as you can see here, the first thing that you want to do is have like some sort of covering on whatever surface you're working on. Um, I'm working on a table in the basement that I don't particularly care about much, but I do want to have like a cardboard splash surface for me to work on. As you can see, I've kind of got some paint on it already. And uh, yeah, it's, it's good just to have that. On that same note, at least for me, I like to have a shirt that I do not care about at all just to wear while I'm painting. Cause like, it really sucks if I'm wearing a shirt I like and then a can of paint splashes or tips over and ruins it. So this, uh, that shirt I just held up there, I don't care about. Um, it's a great paint shirt. <laughs> anyway, um, then of course you're gonna want brushes, you know, a couple different types. And um, you want a can of water or something like that, you know, a container just that'll hold water. You use that to rinse your brushes out and stuff. Um, keep in mind that what I'm doing is very basic. There's a lot of very professional model painters out there who have all the equipment, but like I'm just using stuff that mainly you can find at your home. Um, otherwise, it's not very expensive to order this stuff off Amazon or off any place that sells model painting equipment. So keep in mind, this is not like the professional's model painting guide. This is just what I do. <laughs> I'd certainly love to hear like what some of these more advanced modeling people uh, do because hey it's uh, I'm always trying to learn stuff anyway so then also right here you've got toothpicks toothpicks to me are essential because you can use them for a lot of stuff uh, especially like where a paintbrush is not fine enough you can use a toothbrush toothpick dip it in some paint and then like really you know put on some extra fine detailing um, with that or you can simply use it to stir your paint cans if they've kind of solidified and set and unmixed for a while um, so toothpicks are very useful um, let me see of course you're gonna want paint I mean duh wouldn't be painting an airplane without paints so what I found my myself using is either testers uh, testors one of those pronunciations is right <laughs> testers stuff and uh, they're uh, I think these are acrylics, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let me just check here. Nope, they're enamels. Okay, pardon my French. They're enamels. <laughs> so, the enamel stuff from testers kind of leaves a bit more of a shine. So, like, I have the white here, and you can see it's a little reflective. Um, it's kind of more shimmery, shiny. Um, that's okay. Um, some people like shiny aircraft. Others prefer, like, a more matte uh, sort of feel to it. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I could go either way. Um, also, I'll find myself using the Humbrol, um, Humbrol stuff, and that's more basic. Um, it's definitely going to have a more flat look to it and less shine, but overall, it's less runny than, like, the testers and enamel stuff. So, I'll find myself going back and forth between these, um, and it really depends on the model you're painting. I've got here an official Ares Games, uh, Newport 28 model that I'm just touching up here and um, since it's an official model the plastic is much more like finished and everything so if you throw enamel like testers on there it's gonna shine however um, I'm using right here an unofficial Shapeways Faults D3 well excuse me Faults D12 miniature and uh, since the plastic is of a different sort it's lighter and a different composition I am using actually the testers enamel on the top wing, but it has, it's not reflective. It has that fabric-y sort of look, which is really nice. Um, so that's, uh, that's kind of what I'll, I've been using for paints. Um, another thing um, that you really are going to need is glue, either super glue or uh, poly cement, uh, depending on your preference. Poly cement's going to take a little longer to set. Um, Super glue will set much quicker, but it does run the risk of kind of leaching um, any paint you have and leaving like white residue. So like if you're gluing before you paint or if you plan to paint over, um, super glue is often really nice. I've used it to touch up quite a few of my models. Um, 
but like if you're bonding plastic on plastic and you want a really hard set then just a few drops of poly cement should do the trick for you you just have to wait longer for it to dry um, so there's that and of course of course you're gonna want decals that's for after the painting's done of course but right here I've got some decals um, that I got off an eBay seller who no longer is here unfortunately um, but I'm gonna use American Roundels for uh, this Newport and then I have here some really nice uh, lozen lozenge decals um, from uh, Baron Rolf on the Wings of Glory forums who also generously donated me this Faults D12. Thank you so much, uh, Baron. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the lozenge on the bottom wings, just the bottom, and then I'm going to do the top wing with a black and yellow starburst pattern, which should be really fun albeit slightly difficult to paint. Um, as I do more with that, I'll make probably, I'll include more details in another video um, regarding how to mask, um, as far as I've learned. And uh, anyway, so the decals, you know, make the plane, like you can paint something really cool, but you add the decals and it looks just really cool then, like extremely so. The decals are the icing on the cake. And as far as decals go, I use, uh, I use uh, Microsol and Microset. So Microset, what I'll do is I'll just dab a little bit of that on right where I'm going to put the decal and then I'll wet down the decal in the water and then slide it off onto the Microsol, uh, the Microset, and uh, let it go there. And then after it's, you know, been on there for, you know, a minute to two or something, then I'll lightly dab Microsol on top of that. Now what Microsol does is it shrink wraps the decal basically. It makes it conform to all the little bumps and ridges of the surface and just sucks it in there. So it looks almost like it's painted on. So, you know, you don't have to have these. I mean, you could make your decals stick with just water, but this is going to help it do a much better job sticking, and this is going to help it do an even better job sticking and make it look much more uh, authentic. So I would definitely recommend those. They're not all that expensive to get on Amazon, and a bottle of each will last you for years. So, um, yeah. And then, very basic stuff. I mean, I like to have a roll of paper towels, and what I'll do is, like, I'll tear off one little section of paper towel and have it to the side there. And anytime, like, I finish painting with one brush, I'll, uh, I'll kind of dab it off on the paper towel, use the paper towel to clean it, and then put it in the water and let it soak the rest of the paint out. Um, and also, you know, it's just good for like cleaning up any sudden spills or whatever, you know, you never can, you always can use paper towels. And then for me personally, I like to do, uh, like, uh, uh, latex gloves. Um, basically any sort of gloves will do. These are exam gloves, I think, but like, you can get a pack of them for like, I don't know, 20 US dollars approximately, a pack of like 100 to 200, and they'll last you for a long time. And why I like to wear those is because when you're painting, as I do, with my hands, see, I don't use a, uh, a spray can. I don't, I don't spray on paint. I know some people who are fantastic with that, but, like, I just haven't had the money to invest in that equipment. Um, so, anyway, I'm doing a lot of hand painting and hand detailing, and I don't know. I like to, like, be done with my painting and then take the gloves off and not have, like paint all down my hand that is impossible to get off for the next day or two <laughs> so that's just a personal preference but anyway that's uh the basics of how i do my model painting um if you guys have any thoughts or questions i'd love to hear them and uh yeah so as i've said before just kind of prepping this uh, n28 for final shipment and uh then gonna really hit this false d12 hard um, I think, as you can see, it's very rough right now. I mean, it's half painted. Um, the fuselage is going to be black. The tail section is going to be yellow. And as you can see, the black bled over a little bit. But, you know, what I do is I usually do several coats, you know, just to make it uh, stand out and have nice contrast. And then I am going to mask areas of this so that you'll have black striping, very similar to my Fokker D7. And, uh, yeah. It's going to be really exciting to see how this goes forward. Alright, anyway, until I see you all again, salute! 
and blue skies. Hey guys, if you liked what you saw, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the shield in the top left corner. If you really liked what you saw and want to be a part of helping us make better content in the future, check us out on Patreon. Until next time, thanks so much for watching, and blue skies.